Peace forever and always. This is your brother, the mighty, 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 uh, Angel Snub Number 7. And uh, I just want to be a little casual here. Of course, as many of you know, that there was a shooting in Colorado. I believe it was Denver. Was it the city of Denver? I'm not sure what city. But y'all know it was a very big news. And I want to tell you honestly that it is a tragic thing. And my heart does, and I feel sadness and send my condolence to all those who lost loved ones in Colorado. But I want to say this to you. It's very difficult for me to really begin or continue to feel or have feelings for these tragedies. And I'm going to tell you, this, is, this will not be the last. It was not the first. And it's going to become worse and worse. Why should I shed tears and feel a mourning when who was shedding tears and who was dedicating a day of mourning for those who were enslaved, my ancestors, those who were lynched, those who were castrated? Where was the day of mourning as Trayvon Martin? lay dead on the street. In fact, I'm going to send a few thousand dollars to his killer. Where is the mourning for all the black people all over this country that shot down in the streets day in and day out? Where is the national day of mourning for our death? Where is it? Now, in this situation, I guess there are Caucasian people and black folks in a different variety of races involved in the shooting. But my thing is, what if there wasn't any white folks or anybody involved in this killing, in this murder? Would there be a national day of mourning? Black life in America has little value. Murderers can go on TV and tell the world that God caused this to happen. God made this. And everybody's all hunky dory. There's no outrage. Why would a God of love and peace, and some of y'all are Christians, why would you even allow somebody to have come out of their mouth that God would ordain something like that? The murder of this young, unarmed boy. But this just goes to show the hypocrisy. And now it's coming down to the nitty gritty. That's what Gladys Knight and the Pips had a song a long time ago. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Now you are seeing the fall of America. We are in the process of the fall of Western civilization as we know it. And I will tell you what's so ironic about it. Since many of y'all are Christians, then let me relate this to some uh, biblical scripture. Very simple, because in the Genesis, God told Moses to get his people out of Egypt. Because God had a problem with Egypt. Was Egypt righteous or unrighteous? Was Egypt good or bad. Of course we know that Egypt was an enemy to God and God had to punish Egypt for her sins. For her wickedness. For what she done to Moses and his people. But if Moses did not get his people out of the way, then the plagues, the punishment that was to fall upon Egypt would also hurt Moses and his people who did not deserve to be hurt. So, what I'm saying to those of us who are the descendants of slaves born in America, 
and I will continue to tell you, and many folks tell us all the time, the black man and woman of America, it is time for you to leave. We have had many Moses come upon, come from among us. They tell us that we should be become independent and get ourselves out of here. But we refuse because we are afraid to leave the only home that we know. We, many of us, are in love with Egypt. We are in love with that which, of course, God has declared that have earned punishment. You want to stay here. So as long as you black man, as long as you black woman, y'all want to stay in a place. In ancient times or in the Bible, God has determined that Egypt is to be punished. In this situation, the Western civilization, the Western world as we know it, America and Europe, they are on a path and have been on a path to self-destruction. This is what we are witnessing. We are witnessing the chickens that come home to roost. The same terrorism that America and Europe has put on other people, other dark people around the world, now it is coming upon your shores. And what is so ironic is that your own people, though your own people in Europe, your own citizens are going to punish your butt. I wanted to say something else, but I, I got to try to, I'm always trying to clean my language up because I want younger people to be able to listen to what I say. The same terrorism, the same murder, the same exploitation, the same things that you have done to others, now you are going to face. You got to take your shoes off to get on a plane. Now you can't even go to the movies. You scared. It's fear all over this country. The same fear that you give other people when you drop your bombs, bring in your tanks. And do the dirt that you do for whatever reason. And that reason is always a selfish, evil reason hiding behind democracy because you really don't care nothing about democracy because you will assassinate uh, democratically elected presidents just as quick as anybody else. You don't care. You after you after godhood. You want to police the world. You want everybody to be white people. You want everybody to worship white Jesus. You want everybody to eat McDonald's, you want everybody to, to say the word, you want everybody to say that apple pie is a favorite all over the world, you want everybody to be like Europeans and white folks, it ain't gonna happen, there is no power in the history of humanity that has been able to survive under crooked circumstance, and America itself was born out of criminal activity. So since America was born out of criminal activity, how do you expect good things to happen in a criminal nation? Oh, that shows that you are insane. I'm sorry, but I just get so happy. I'm, I'm so happy because even though I might personally suffer, even though we suffer because we're going to stay here while, the, while this world is falling, we don't have to, but we love this, these devils so much we are, we are not going to be like Moses and his people and get the hell out of town. They didn't know where they was going. They just knew they had to leave Egypt. You don't have to know where you're really going. Find a spot and let's go and get out of this. I'm telling you. And there is no God. These people are destroying themselves. They are becoming their own terrorists. They are arrogant. You can't tell them nothing. They are judge, jury, and executioner. But when it's their turn, they can't handle it. This is a violent nation. The movies are violent. The cartoons are violent. Everything about it is violent. And you don't expect that something like this that happened in Colorado could happen when you feed the people violence day in and day out. Then the people are drinking liquor. They're doing drugs. Legal and illegal drugs, messing with their brain, messing with their mind. You don't think nothing's going to happen? You don't think there's not going to be any kind of result or consequence? The people are fed sex every day. 
There's always some naked woman in somebody's face with her vagina in your face. Some man slinging his penis in your face every day. You see, you see uh, images of sex. And so is it a shock? That, the, that pedophiles are coming from out of everywhere and they are attacking your children. And people, people are just going obsessed with this sex crap. And the homosexuals won't write because, just because they lay with another man or lay with another woman. I want rights. What kind of rights? There, you shouldn't have to have no kind of rights. But it's, as long as it's sexual, we are sexualized. More and more white people in this country are getting caught stealing. And you, the Caucasian people, those who are in Europe, those white folks in, in, in America, you don't want to accept responsibility and make proper charges for your actions. So this young white boy, he's, uh, something was wrong with him mentally. He had a bad childhood, but when it comes to black folks, nothing, oh, we just, we just criminals. But there's always something there's, also, there's always something mentally disturbed with white folks. That's why you have an excuse for your behavior. But black folks, we, don't, we are the most tortured people in history. Mentally. Suffering all kinds of mental oppression. But we are normal. We know exactly what we're doing. Slavery was a long time ago, of course, as you know. But that's all right. And this young boy, white boy, he was college educated. You got a college educated killer. Is that what they're teaching in, in uh, your schools now? How to murder folks? How to plan murders? This is the end of Western civilization. You are in the midst and this is you are in the process of watching the greatest people that have been on this planet for a long time. The white man and white woman of Europe and America. Their world is falling and they are doing it to themselves because they are arrogant, unrighteous, immoral type people. Always making excuses. Well, we're going to see how right you are. You're so smart. Let's see how long your world will hold. And for those of us who are smart, you need to get out of here or you need to take advantage of those who are falling. Because as they fall, they can't do nothing about it. So. Peace forever and always. This is your brother, the mighty, 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 uh, Angel Snub Dub 7. And uh, I just want to be a little casual here. <laughs>